When someone says, I should fear China, I just don't get it. I'd be scared if I lived there or wanted to do business there. The communist dictatorship is repulsive. I think about Tiananmen Square and that lone student. He was a hero for standing up for freedom. And China does have a powerful military. But we are much more powerful. We spend six times what they spent. They are a threat to Taiwan and Japan, but they're not yet close to being a threat to the United States. Today, some people say we should fear China's economic power. And their economy is growing fast, faster than ours. But why fear that? Economic competition is a good thing. It's not like war. War is win or lose, but economic competition is win-win. If they invent superior solar panels, say, we benefit. If they discover a cheaper way to make fresh water from salt water, that's good for the whole world. If their economy grows bigger than ours, that's okay. It just means there are more rich people that we can sell stuff to. That makes Americans richer. And a growing China won't steal America's jobs. Well, they might take away some if they can make iPhones and plastic toys more cheaply, but that's okay too. Because if those things are cheaper, that allows us to create other jobs by focusing on what we're good at making. Coming up with ideas for iPhones and software and Facebook and inventing life-saving drugs and movies and growing wheat. The money we save buying Chinese solar panels lets us do more of that. Unless, of course, our government screws it up. And our politicians do have a history of doing that by passing crippling regulations, crippling businesses with a million rules. This 80,000 pages is just what the feds added last year. Now this is just death by a thousand cuts. Every page is a list of do's and don'ts that every business must follow or be in big trouble. These rules will help China surpass us. Let's get rid of them. Earlier tonight, I showed you how hard it was to get legal permission to open my simple business. It took a week of lawyering. And yet I opened this little stand in Delaware, the state where it's supposedly the easiest to start a business. By contrast, in Hong Kong, I once got permission to open a business in one day. Thank you, sir. That's all it took. Communist China, even they recognize that too many rules stifle economic growth. They've started special economic zones where they have more free trade, less planning, less bureaucracy, and those regions have stunning growth. That's what we need more of in this country, more freedom from these stupid regulations. And again, these are just the federal rules. Local governments add more. Monday was Halloween. That brings out the local rule makers. In Walnut, California, it's illegal to wear a mask on Halloween without permission from the sheriff. Soon they'll pass laws against what this Texas boy did. He went trick-or-treating dressed as me. Okay, he's not illegal yet, but states do keep passing more rules. Last month, Illinois joined 14 other states in banning these cigarette lighters that look like other things, like the Statue of Liberty or this fire extinguisher. They're not allowed to have entertaining features. As always, there's a justification. Kids might start a fire. We better ban these. Never mind that the guy who designed this and the people who made the mold and made the materials and packed them and invested in them and marketing and so on are now all out of a job. And the companies now hire lawyers instead of inventors. Are we too stupid to decide whether or not we can have lighters that look like this in our homes? One last example. Louisiana just made it illegal for resale stores like thrift shops to pay cash for used goods. Now they have to write a check. That'll supposedly make it easier for the cops to track stolen goods and make it easier for government to collect taxes. But checks cost money, and not everyone has a bank account. And check cashing services charge hefty fees. But can't get cash for your old furniture in Louisiana anymore. Big government doesn't like it. It's one more reason why we here at the Stossel Show reject big government. And we hope you do too. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Good night.